Hello everyone, my name is Mandy Lynn. I am the author of the young adult novel Essence and soon to be published novel I Am Mercy. And today I'm going to be talking about how to sell your novel. You know, sometimes I feel like I might not be the best person for this advice. But I'm going to go for it anyways because I do know the tricks to it sometimes. I'm just too lazy to actually do it. So the first step you need to do to sell a novel is that you gotta write it. And that's like a whole nother thing. You gotta write it, publish it. And so we're talking about when you're a self-published author and say you've got a novel for sale on Amazon. Now, how do you sell it? One of the easiest ways to sell your novel is just to be present in social media. This means things like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and of course, as you can see, YouTube. If you're a presence, then people will notice you and if they notice you they'll be like oh she wrote a book let's see what she wrote obviously my main one is YouTube I also use a lot of Facebook don't really use my Twitter don't really use my Instagram for my book stuff I just use it for my own personal stuff but you know whatever and by the way all those links are down there below if you want to follow me I do notice the more active I am the more sales I get through my Amazon account so that's one thing you can do Another thing you can do is by doing book signings. This means contacting bookstores and asking, Hey, would you like me to come and sign books? And as a self-published author, sometimes this means that you have to buy the books yourself to sell, but you still get a percentage of the sales. You just can't have the bookstore or the books themselves because if your publisher is print on demand, this means they, they only print books if they're ordered. That means if a bookstore orders the books and they don't sell, they can't return them to the publisher. Thus, as the author, you usually have to supply the books. Another thing you can do to sell books is to just make yourself known in the community, as in not just social media, but that outside world. This means doing things like speaking engagement. I am a person to do writing workshops at my local libraries. Right now I'm working on doing speaking engagements at schools. I haven't scheduled any yet, but I'm working on, you know, the PowerPoint slideshow and reading up on research for that and trying to figure out the best way to contact schools. So I don't have anything planned yet, but it's in the works. Another thing you can do that I'm also really bad at is keeping a business card on you all times because even if you're talking to strangers, sometimes it can come up that, hey, you wrote a book. And if they're like, oh, what's the book about? And you start talking to them with it, and then they walk away and they never look at it again. But hey, if you have a business card and you hand it to them, that means when they go home and they stumble across the business card again, they'll be like, eh, might as well look her up. So yeah, another thing is to always have a website that they can go to that connects everything. Like my website, mandylin.com if you want to visit it, has of course all my YouTube videos, my book which has a link to Amazon, and all my social media websites. And I also have fun little pages with like tips on writing, tips on self-publishing, and all that cool sort of stuff. So the biggest thing is just being active. I noticed that when I was away living in the dorms in college, my book sales and even my YouTube channel went from like up 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 to down and then leveled out but when I'm active it's either level or it's going up it doesn't go down which is always a nice thing so the biggest thing is social media take advantage of that because it's free you don't always need ads I've tried ads on Facebook and they work for getting likes but they don't always work for getting sales so if you want to see your like number on your Facebook page go up then go ahead do an ad, but if you actually want sales in your books, then I would hold off spending the money on ads because it's not going to be worth it. So that was my two cents on the subject of selling novels. It's, it's can, it can be easy and complicated at the same time. It's just how you look at it. I think most people overthink it. It's just the biggest thing is social media. Take advantage of it and really get yourself out there. Communicate with the community that's already existing and just, you know, be friendly. So I hope this video helped you guys who are other self-published authors. And if you liked it, comment below, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching.